Lemonberry. Yes. This is a custom made recipe at Melt. You guys, this week they're doing chicken fried oysters tacos. We definitely have to try that. I think we'll get two of them. Chicken fried doesn't mean it has chicken in it. It's just oyster that's fried in breading. And then we're also gonna get a few of these other vegan options. All right, you guys, today we're trying a new side called red curry coconut queso. Let's see how it is. Oh damn, they just put out a new red velvet cake. It's looking good. Oh wow, that looks great. Thank you. Enjoy. Oyster tacos and fish and chips. The new queso. You guys, so the oyster tacos were not as good as expected. They're pretty Usually, long. I think they're probably the best oyster tacos I've had. I can't imagine a better oyster taco. But the fish taco is really amazing. Usually oysters are good when we go to a seafood restaurant. However, they were not good in the tacos here. It's only a weekly special taco, so it's not like something on their regular menu, and I can see why. The thing that was on their regular menu that I tried that was really good today was the fish and chips taco. Probably the best seafood taco I've ever had. The fish was perfectly battered and breaded and fried, like so crispy, and the fish was definitely caught, and it was like so perfect. So if you guys go to Velvet Taco, try the fish and chips taco. No wonder it's locked. Yeah, these are all the most expensive ones. Look, $3,000. Do you want to get it? Let's try it out. If you guys think we should try the $3,000 wine on our next video, comment below. And give us a thumbs up. For those of you who have not been to a wine tasting, this is a spit bucket. Whenever you've tried multiple wines, you're not going to finish all of them or you're going to be like super wasted before the wine tasting is half done. That's why they provide this. You spit into it your excess wine or pour the rest of your cup of wine that you're not going to drink before the next tasting. One time I saw a funny movie where this guy was like done drinking all of his wine and he was super wasted and he started drinking out of, out of this. So that's like really gross. You don't ever want to drink out of that. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. We just moved here from LA like two months ago. She lived there her whole life. Okay. How long were you in LA? I was born in LA and I came out here when I was about seven. So, yeah, what do you think? How does it compare? Have you been back to LA lately? Yeah, I was out there probably about a month ago. Love LA. Love LA to visit, never want to live there again. That's exactly what I always told her. It's a great place to vacation, but not if you want to live there. Exactly. It's like expensive. Dirty. Super expensive. <laughs> to the cork because it's less expensive and it's more effective at actually preserving the wine in the bottle. Three percent of all wines that have corks in them go bad. The cork fails. Three percent of all wines. So that means that three percent of all the wines sitting on my shelf right now are probably have a bad cork in them and the wine is, is going bad. It's being oxidized because air is getting in the bottle. The screw cap is 100 percent effective. So it's actually more effective at keeping wine fresh than the corkies. 